Today we're going to talk about 11 plugins and tools for animation in 3ds Max that can aid you to create different animation styles for characters, animals, creatures, and vehicles, or anything else you want to animate. We're going to start off with number 11, Craft Director Studio. With this animation plugin, you simply hook up a model and start driving vehicles and aircraft through 3D environments. Adjust variables like suspension and add camera effects to achieve the exact look and feel you are after. Craft Director Studio was built to solve an old problem in animation which is the long hours needed to spend simply to make vehicles roll forward and turn. Instead of endlessly keyframing, animation teams and professionals can spend that time fine-tuning the realism of their scenes. In Craft Director Studio, animations and keyframes are created in real time, which means you get instant results providing better movement. This plugin is used in VFX to create natural, compelling motion in 3D movies, and it is used by car and track manufacturers to demonstrate new products and bring concepts to life. Craft Director Studio can also be part of game development to enhance in game animations and cinematics with dynamic and real life animations. Number 10, Turbo Splines. Turbo Splines is a 3ds Max plugin for creating multiple spline wrapping animations or what is known as path deform animations in a very short time. This tool automatically assigns path deform modifiers to present or custom meshes and help you quickly produce many spline driven animations which you can easily control from a friendly interface. Make growing splines, animated cables, wires, ropes, ribbons, light trails, moving tentacles, branches, worms, and more. Turbo Splines uses 3ds Max standard modifiers and geometry, so you can edit your meshes and animations without needing the script. This tool is ideal for artists and professionals working in CG animation, motion graphics, and VFX. It can create, edit, and animate multiple spline wrapped meshes with just few clicks, it can handle many meshes per path simultaneously. You can copy and paste parameters between meshes and apply variation and offset to your animations to add realism. Number 9, Echo. This tool is inspired by tools you can find in 2D animation software, like the onion layers in Flash or the Echo effect in After Effects. You can pick different sources and offset their time animation, but also divide this time offset by the number of source copies you want. You can create nice animated duplication effects for motion graphics or simply to check your animation without using trajectories. Copy end times of source object with an animated time delay. You can now offset the transforms of these time copies and rotate the copies around a pivot. It works by using a spline to place them, slide along that spline, and you can automatically create new material IDs. Number 8, Anima. Anima is the animation plugin developed specifically for architects and designers. You can also use it for game development using a game engine. It is ideal for creating 3D animated people quickly and easily. With its artificial intelligence system, it allows 3D human characters to avoid each other, to get on and off stairs, escalators, tracks, and moving sidewalks. With its simple workflow, you can create complex crowd animations very quickly. Anima uses the same high-quality 3D people found in their Metropoli collection, so there is no need to compromise on quality. Their actors are driven by real mocap data and a sophisticated AI engine with automatic procedural motion to achieve realistic crowd animations. You can get access to hundreds of realistic 3D human assets and start populating your still rendering objects directly from 3ds Max with a simple and intuitive interface. Anima enables you to create actors that walk, run, navigate slopes, ride escalators, tackle moving walkways, and climb stairs realistically. Whatever your scene's topology, you can add crowd animated characters that explore every corner. Crowd actors can walk, run, and stand on nearly any surface. Just define an area and the actors are projected onto the background geometry, press play, and the animation will adapt automatically to the terrain. You can fill scenes with standing and seated characters using an extensive range of animations or import more from a third party source. Characters can move from walkways to fixed areas and socialize. You are not limited to the bundled content using Anima's crowd editing tools. It's easy to import and use a third-party rigged characters and motion capture data. Number 7, Madcar. 
Madcar is a plugin for 3DS Max for quick rigging of wheeled vehicles in their animation by simulating the control. This plugin allows rigging vehicles with any number of wheels and with any of their mutual arrangements, including motorcycles. Any number of trails is also supported. There are simplified behavior settings for each of the wheels and suspension as well as fine-tuning. This allows to simulate motion with qualities of a race car as well as heavy trucks. Animation is created during the simulation in real time. Simulation can be controlled by the keyboard, joysticks, game controllers, or a steering wheel following the object is a mode that is also supported. The package also includes a procedural map that generates traces of tires on the surface on which the vehicle is moving. Number 6. Instant Rig Instant Rig is a modular auto rigging system for 3DS Max users. It helps riggers to create flexible, animator-friendly, and production-quality rigs in minutes. Also, it is designed to be usable for artists with little to no rigging experience. Instant Rig allows everyone to create all kinds of creature rigs. Its simple interface makes the rigging process easier than ever before. You can resize your character anytime, and it is fully flexible because it has a stretchy and curvy spine, legs, and arms and it has modular design allowing you to rig whatever you need, just choose the number of fingers, toes, tails, hairs, ears, and more. You can also use an instant rig, save your prototypes, and don't waste time creating rigs from scratch. Number 5. Drive Master. There are actually more than a few scripts and rigging tools available for rigging automobiles in 3DS Max. Some offer an easy way to get wheels rotating based on the movement of the car, others will add in steering, and even others will incorporate a suspension system. Drive Master is a tool that will automatically create a four-wheeled car rig in 3DS Max. You can easily animate the motion for the vehicle manually or by using a curve in the scene. The script will also make the wheels stick to the ground even if the ground is a terrain. Drive Master gives you a fast setup, dynamic suspension, automatic wheel ground contact, automatic wheel rotation and offset attributes for adjusting or animating your car on top of the generated animation. Drive Master features include automatic wheel animation, manual animation of curve following, support for an even ground surface, body alignment to wheels, a manual suspension system, wheel spin override and burnout animation and sliding, manual body reaction to acceleration, automatic body reaction to turns and automatic steering and more. Number 4. Animators Toolkit John Joker Martini was working on a simple tool in his free time and then he was joined by his friend who is a graphic designer to add other features to it over time taking it from a 100 lines piece of code to over 100,000. Studios were showing interest in their tool and wanted more features so they added them over time and became used in the industry by some of the biggest companies. Animator Toolkit is a compact suite of modular tools to rig copy and manipulate animation in a few clicks without plugin dependency. There is no need for extra license because Animator's Toolkit uses methods native to 3ds Max so it can easily fit into any production pipeline. A built-in powerful macro sequencer makes it easy to combine 27 devices. Each tool can be instanced so you never have to remember all your settings. Animator's Toolkit gives you per-object control with an integrated parametric system. Use curves to set weights, timing, transforms, and much more. Cherry pick the order of distribution or use several automatic sorts methods including distance, volume, and hierarchy. Number 3. Maximal Auto Rigger Maximo Auto Rigger is not really a plugin for 3ds Max, but an online tool that you can use in order to automatically and quickly rig your 3D characters. Upload your custom character to Maximo and get an automatically rigged full human skeleton, custom fit to your model, and ready to be animated. You can also use a library of animation-ready characters. You can customize your rigging options with optimizations for mobile performance. You can also explore a library of thousands of full-body character animations captured from professional motion actors. Each action is transferred to your own character and can be previewed and edited directly with Maximo so you can control the look and feel of each motion. When you are done with the automatic rigging and animation in Maximo website, you can download characters and animations in multiple formats, ready to use in motion graphics, video games, film, or illustration. 
Also, there are some export optimizations that will keep your projects light and efficient. Number two, Overmorpher. It is a nice 3ds Max plugin that has three different versions. Overmorpher Mesh Space, Overmorpher Pose Space, and Overmorpher World Space. Overmorpher Mesh Space is a 3ds Max plugin that works like a morpher but on top of the animated mesh. It can be placed over skin modifier or anything like a point cache. Each morph target follows the deformation of a reference vertex, so whatever the animation does before the modifier, the morph will always follow properly. That's really handy to add and animate the deformations that your rig can do or add different morphologies to copies of the same animated mesh. This plugin can create morph from external meshes, update and extract morph functions, blend multiple morphs together, and cache baking options. Overmorpher Pose Space is a 3ds Max plugin dedicated to pose space deformation. It is pretty similar to Skin Morph, except that the pose's interpolation is more reliable. The Skin Morph modifier drives the poses depending on the angle between two bones, and because of the nature of rotations in 3D software and rotation orders, in some cases, the interpolation doesn't work as expected. This plugin is based on what is called radial basis function, and in this case, it is a bit simplified, so it doesn't use angle between poses, but distance between two points, which solves the angle problem and opens new possibilities. Overmorph World Space gives you all the freedom that even the best rigs can't. You can sculpt your poses in animation at a specific time and your corrective poses are blended on top of your mesh deformations. It can be applied on top of any mesh deformations like skin modifier, a point cache, a cloth simulation, an alembic cache and more. That's really a cool tool to add cartoony deformations like smear frames, squash and stretch, change the silhouette, correct the cloth simulation and more. It works pretty well to attach your animated meshes together before the pose sculpt process. Some of its features are you can sculpt the poses outside 3ds Max to get them back in the plugin easily, it has quick and easy keyframe access, and it can update and extract poses. Number 1. Fast. Inspired by what Pixar showed on Presto, this tool will really speed up your rigging workflow, but most of all, your animation efficiency. You don't need to create any more additional objects to control your rigs, everything is triggered by predefined mesh zones and your mouse movements. So the advantage here is that it doesn't slow down your scenes by adding more elements, and most of all, you can control your rig directly on the mesh without individual interference, painful control selection, or separate UI. So everything becomes very obvious and intuitive. It's very obvious that it will work well on facial rigs, but you can really control a lot of different types of rigs. I hope this guide for 3D animation plugins and tools for 3ds Max was useful. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Probably tell us about plugins we didn't mention here. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next one.